Welcome to study session 6, National Income and Growth Rates. Introduction. This study session introduces you to the concepts of national income and growth rates. As you will later realize, income means revenue, earnings or proceeds that come in for a person after working for a given time period by giving up one's time in the service of an organization. Such a person is invariably rewarded by the payment of such income, but our interest here is that of the income that a nation accrues to herself in the course of transacting businesses and finding out how, how such income increases. Learning Outcomes When you have studied this session, you should be able to define the following terms National Income Gross Domestic Product Gross National Income per capita income. National income. National income is a monetary value of goods and services that are produced in a country and economy over a given period of time. The growth of a country is measured by using the rise in national income over a year. National income is usually computed on annual basis and this will give room for ascertaining of the growth that is experienced in an economy. To measure the economic development of a country, a structural analysis of the national income must be made. Instead of using ordinary values of the national income, the national income values alone give nominal values without giving necessary information on the structure such as population and capital capability of a country. Further discussion is deferred to the section on per capita income after we would have learned about gross national income and net national income. Gross domestic product GDP Gross domestic product is the value of the total output that is produced by factors of production resident within an economy during the period for which national income is being computed. The GDP is strictly for the shores of a given country and so it has a geographical boundary as it takes into consideration all the factors of production belonging to both citizens and foreigners living in a country. By the time depreciation is deducted from the GDP, the result that is obtained is a net domestic product. Gross national income. The gross national income, otherwise known as a gross national product, GNP, is defined as the total value or the monetary measurement of the total output produced by the factors of production that are around the citizens irrespective of where the citizens are living during a given period of time, say one year. The gross national product includes net income from abroad. Only the final product should be taken into account while estimating the GNP of an economy. This is to prevent the problem of double counting which can arise when value of items are accounted for at their different stages of production. Symbolically, GNI equals GDP plus X minus M, where GDP equals gross domestic product, X export and M import. By the time depreciation is subtracted from the GNI, the result will be net national income. Symbolically, NNI equals GNI minus depreciation. There are three major approaches used in estimating the GNI, and these are income approach, expenditure approach, value added approach. Per capita income. This is the income earned by an individual within a given society. Put in another way, it is the total income of a group divided by the number of people in the group. Per capita, not capital income is the income per head of a given population. The per capita income is more of an estimate than the real contribution of each individual to the national income. It should be realized that while some citizens have contributed much or little than the per capita income to the overall national income, some other citizens might have contributed nothing to it at all. The values of per capita income are better index for measuring development than those of national income. For example, assume that the national incomes of two countries 
B and D were 30 million and 36 million naira in the year 2013 respectively. The population figures of the countries B and D were 10,000 and 104,400 in the year 2013 respectively. Thus, the per capita incomes of countries B and D in 2013 will be as follows. From the findings above, with respect to countries B and D, one would be tempted to conclude that country D with 36 million was richer than country B with 30 million, whereas when we get the per capita income of these countries, it was revealed that country B had more money per person than country D, whose per capita income was 344 naira, 83 kabo. Growth rate. The growth rate is usually made used of in the field of economics, especially when examining the country's national income and population growth. The growth rate is, therefore, the rate of change in any measure of development over a period of time. The growth rate of a country in relation to national income can be calculated as given below, where y equals income in base year zero, y1 equals income in target year one. Example, given that a country's national incomes in 2008 and 2013 were 30 million naira and 35 million naira respectively, the growth rate over the period under consideration will be while year 0 equals year 2008, 30 million, year 1, year 2013 equals 35 million. The above result shows and implies that the national income of the country under consideration has increased by 16.67% between the years 2008, which was the base year and the target year 2013. Average growth rate. This is the annual or yearly change in the given measure under the consideration, that is income, population and so on, of a given nation over a period of time relative to the duration of the period. Mathematically, from the example given above, overall growth rate equals 16.67%, number of years interval equals 5, therefore, average growth rate equals 16.67 divided by 5 equals 3.33 per year. Study session summary. In this study session, we discussed the concept of national income as the monetary value of goods and services that are produced in a country and economy over a given period of time. Terms like gross national income GNI, per capita income PCI, and growth rates were also examined. End of study session 6. Thanks for listening.